No, I said, what kinds of things could a nation like the United States do that would be helpful to you? And again, I was a little bit surprised with the answer because it wasn't what we're hearing a lot. We're hearing that they all want to come here to the United States, and that's not what they want. They want to go back home. Presidential candidate Ben Carson during his trip to Jordan saying Syrian refugees, they don't want to come to the U.S., they want to go home. Here to discuss the refugee question and much more, the founder and current president of the David Horowitz Freedom Center, David Horowitz. David is the author of The Black Book of the American Left, Volume 5, Culture Wars. Welcome, David. This past week you did an interview where you said the Obama administration is treasonous for accepting refugees. Explain why you think the president is betraying our country. Well, just in a nutshell, since people might be shocked by that, <laughs> uh, if Franklin Roosevelt gave a nuclear weapon to Hitler, what would we call it? The, not, it's not just Obama, but the Democratic Party um, is persuaded that America is the problem in the world, and therefore its policies are to punish America. Um, why should America be accepting refugees from countries which are Islamic uh, and therefore Jew-hating uh, and America-hating. And yes, I know there are a lot of good Muslims, but they don't make a big difference in, this, in these political struggles. You have, you know, the, there are polls that are taken throughout the Middle East. It shows that, uh, you know, a majority of people will support suicide bombing, uh, kill the Jews, uh, you know, uh, Sharia law, which is medieval Islamic law, should rule the world. Why would we import people like this into this country in the midst of a war, which, of course, the Democrats and Obama are in denial about? I want to jump so in, Dave, David, if I can, because I want to get to another topic, and it kind of relates right. to that. The Freedom Center's publication, the front page magazine came out with the top 10 American universities labeled most friendly to terrorists. That included schools like Harvard, and Rutgers, UCLA, University yeah. of Michigan. Now, the list, it received worldwide attention. Has there been anything done at those schools that you listed to change their ways no, in the last couple of weeks? Of course not, because the, of course not, because the administrators support these groups. Uh, the list is about uh, Students for Justice in Palestine, which is a front for Hamas, and the Muslim Students Association, which is a front for the Muslim Brotherhood. It's a recruiting organization for the Brotherhood. And many of its uh, past presidents are now terrorists. That doesn't mean that every kid who is a member of the Muslim Students Association is a potential terrorist, but it's a recruitment organization, meaning they select them out. And together, those two groups conduct terrorist propaganda about Israel, beginning with the, the Hitlerian lie that Israel occupies Arab land. Israel was created on land that belonged to the Turks, who were not Arabs, for 400 years uh, prior to the creation of Israel. It's the same way that Iraq, Lebanon, Jordan, and Syria were created. Yet these groups insist on spreading this poisonous, genocidal propaganda from the terrorist group Hamas. Well, there may not be administrative change on these campuses, but obviously you put the issue to the forefront. There has to be more scrutiny right now on groups like the Muslim Students Association and uh, Students for Justice in Palestine. What are you hearing from some of the conservatives, some people on the right on these college campuses? Well, that, that's our agenda. Unfortunately, look, you just look at the Republican Party. They're afraid to fight. They don't want to offend um, Muslim students, they don't want to be called racist, Islamophobe, and all the scare words that the left used to beat down uh, their opposition. People get out of their way. So we don't really have support for this, even though, uh, you know, we've published this study, we've given chapter and verse, you know, they invite uh, pro-terrorist speakers to campus, uh, they conduct these uh, um, Israeli apartheid weeks, which is another Hitlerian lie. Israel's David, we're going to have to leave it right there. Obviously, yeah. there's a long list I know you want to uh, tell our viewers about, but David Horowitz is the author of The Black Book of the American Left, Volume 5, Culture Wars. Thanks, as always, for being on Newsmax Prime. And when we come back, we're going to talk to Phyllis Schlafly about the Colorado Springs Planned Parenthood shooting.